Today's the day, you guys. Today's the day. It is a beautiful rainy day here on Mosley Farm in Stardew Valley in the middle of fall. And you know what that means? We're going to go fishing. We are going to be spending the day fishing for the very last fish that we need to complete the night fishing bundle, the walleye. And unfortunately, it won't actually be coming out until noon. But that means that we will have enough time to run around the farm and take care of everything until noon. And we can also craft a few of the different lures that I can put onto my iridium fishing rod. I am also prepared. I've got a little bit of food, some lobster bisque that I picked up from the lady with the pig yesterday. We're also going to be grabbing some of the lucky fishing food that I have in the kitchen. So it's going to be a very exciting day. I am so thrilled. I cannot believe we only have that one walleye fish to catch. And then the whole community center bundle will be completed. This is, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. So, all right, I've got to tell Leia what I'm going to be spending my day doing, and it's going to be fishing. Uh, she's already got a wonderful fire going in the kitchen, so hopefully things are nice and warm. Leia, winter's just around the corner. We need to double check the heating system, turn off the valves, and check all the insulation in the house. Oh, that actually sounds like my darling. He actually just did all of those things. That's pretty awesome. Don't worry, I'll take care of it all. Oh, thank you, Leia. All right, you have a wonderful day, and please watch over Rowan for us. And I'm going to put away this uh, pile of mushrooms. I guess I can move these wild plums out and put in the normal milk. Oh, there is normal milk up there already. Okay, wild plums, you can stay. And let me dig around. Oh, let's give Leia one of the goat cheeses, because I haven't given her a gift lately. There you go, Leia. There, it was right from the fridge, but I know it's just nice to have somebody give you something. And then I'm going to search through all of my chest because some of these have completed meals already, like the dish of the sea. Okay, I'm going to grab mm, all three of those just in case. And anything else? There's lucky lunch, but I don't think I need to actually take my lucky lunch with me. And I'll put the milk away. I know where I've got milk and periwinkle are actually in the main fridge. Um, but I, I think that between the dish of the sea and the lobster bisque, we should have enough of the time covered that I should be able to catch this walleye with the special little boost. So let me put some of these things away. I've also got the pumpkin soup. I now have a ton of food on me actually so I'll need to do something about that and I'm gonna put away some of these things all right and oh I need to craft some um I need to craft some lures of course and I also need to see I have some lures inside of my bedroom I need to organize my bedroom a little bit more too uh, but I know I have some lures somewhere in here so I have the barbed lure to make the fish more secure on the hook um, the magnet, but that'll chase fish away. The trap bobber, which causes fish to escape slower when you aren't luring them in. Um, the cork bobber. Those are all really good things. Is there anything else that I would want to craft that could possibly help me with the fishing? Um, bite rate while fishing. I think the barbed hook is probably the best one to use. And... Yeah, the dressed spinner could be useful, and the treasure hunter, of course, is always fun. But honestly, I think that the, the barbed hook is probably the best way to go. Slow weak fish, though. I don't know what a walleye counts as. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we'll start with the cork bobber. We've got plenty of stuff. We're getting all ready. This is like getting ready for a really, really intense fishing trip, actually. So this is kind of exciting. And we have until noon to run around the farm and to take care of things here. And then I need to head, uh, I need to head over to the river and do some fishing at the river until we've got everything. Let's see. Is there anything? There's a little bit of corn to harvest up from over here. Here's the flower. I'm going to go ahead and collect up that wheat flour. Might as well jump on rose stone. <gasps> the artichokes are ready, you guys. Oh, they're so pretty. I have only recently learned to really love artichoke. So that's pretty awesome. Let me move some of these out of the way. We've got more golden eggplants. Come along, rose stone, my dear. I wonder what happens. Can you pickle artichokes? I kind of want to try now. I kind of want to stick an artichoke inside. Uh, I need to turn some of them probably into seeds, but I kind of want to stick a couple of them in the pickling vat and see what happens. So let me come over and stick a couple. Whoa, that's some lightning. All right, artichokes in there. And then I wonder what happens. I want to take these artichokes because I'm pretty sure all of the food that you put inside of the pickling vats, it'll increase the value of the food, I think. So I'm just curious. Oh geez, that's a lot of that's a lot of thunder and lightning. So I'm gonna stick a couple of these in 
just because I'm really curious what happens to artichokes if you stick them inside of the um, if you stick them inside of the those vats. So let me see how many seeds did I get back? Oh, I forgot I had that many seeds already. All right, I'm going to turn the normal artichokes into more seeds, hopefully, and I'm going to go ahead and sell. Yeah, I'll just sell the other normal things because I think that's the better the better move. And I've got some extra goat milk. That goat milk I am actually saving for Sandy. There's hops. I've got quite a few things just scattered all over the place, don't I? Huh. One of these days we'll have to go through and start collecting up everything and trying to make them a little tidier. Let's see, and I have some trash to stick inside the recycling bins. All right, and let's ride on over. And I'm just going to take all of the artichokes that we've got in seed form and sprinkle them about over here. There we go, I've got enough room for two more artichokes. Okay, that was a little bit close there with the whole lightning. Um, I'm okay, It doesn't. It, I don't need to be stabbed with lightning, please. And I think I'll sell this last artichoke, there we go. All right, so we've got plenty of artichokes. I'm gonna put a few more down. There we go, anything else that's ready to harvest? I don't think so, how many did I get? two okay so i got a total of three from two artichokes there so three seeds two artichokes oh and we've got some eggplants down here all right got that eggplant those are from the mixed seeds i put down oh i'm gonna need some new seeds to put in all right i've got plenty of yams i can put yams down there that'll be no problem all right because i've got some new amaranth to collect all right keeping an eye on the oh my gosh <laughs> What happens if I get hit by lightning? Like, does something bad happen? I imagine something bad would happen if you get hit by lightning, but you guys know what I mean. Is that actually something that could happen? It's making me a little bit nervous. All right, and I have a couple spots I can cover up uh, with some sort of seed, so I should probably dig something out. And let's go inside of the greenhouse and see what's going on in here today. Dun dun dun! Lots and lots of ancient fruit to collect. Wonderful, wonderful. We've got quite a few blueberries as well and quite a few cranberries. In fact, so many that I think I'm going to have to come back and harvest up the rest later. Oh my gosh. Well, all right. I'll be back for you guys in just a second and I see quite a few beets and we have our experimental winter and um, I think spring crops currently growing. Do do Roast them. We have the experimental crops growing from the mixed seed bags, so that's a good thing too. All right, and we'll put all of the ancient fruit away. But the the mixed wild seeds that I planted are so that hopefully we can actually, let me grab that apple, hopefully we can give the wild seeds to Sandy because she really likes the wild flowers when they grow. All right, so let's just focus on fishing a little bit too. Um... Out of room again. Out of room. I've got a lot of cheese in here. <laughs> like a lot of cheese. It's kind of hilarious. I'll leave some torches in here too. These animals are fed today. I think the only animals that I have to go manually feed are actually going to be our dinosaurs. Oh, also is the barn deluxe now? Hey, hold still. <laughs> Milkweed. Okay, Milkweed ran away from me. Hold still, cows. Is the barn deluxe? Can I get a pig? Oh, guys, we might be able to get a pig today. Oh, and it's almost noon. Okay, okay. All right, let's hurry. I want to make sure we wrap this up. Okay, forget me not has no milk right now. That's totally fine. All right, we're going to feed the little dinosaurs. I'm going to toss the milk in here. And I don't think the goats had any milk today. That's just going to have to be the way things are. Um, anything I need to yank back out? I'm pretty sure all this can stay. I'll take this goat cheese just so I can give it to Leia. All right, so let's go feed the dinosaurs. And then I need to go and start fishing because it's already, <gasps> it's noon, it's noon. Okay, let's get into the dinosaur area. In we go. Hi guys, oh good, you guys are fed too. I wonder if that was Leia taking good care of you. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna add your dinosaur egg in here and I will be back later, little ones. All right, we're off you guys. We're gonna jump on Rose Stone. We are going to drop off all of the things in my pockets. Uh, just straight up at the front yard and we're gonna head off and we're gonna get to the fishing because this is some pretty important stuff Okay, everything that I don't need because I don't want to carry too many things that have nothing to do with fishing um, So pretty much everything that doesn't have anything to do with fishing stays including my tools 
All right, let's see. Uh, anything that can't fit. Let's see. I'll try selling. Uh, watering can can stay. Uh, big giant pile of wood can stay. I have no idea why I have slime in here, but I'll go ahead. I'm just going to sell that slime. What on earth am I doing with that kind of slime? Just sitting in my, my inventories, taking up precious space. Who even knows what I'm doing with half this stuff, honestly? Um, let's see. There's a lot of stuff that I could probably turn into some super yummy things. Algae. Uh, you stay. And I guess I'll leave the miner's treat. And what am I doing with all these wheat seeds in my pockets? This is just, this is just silly. All right, we're going to clear some of this out. It's a good opportunity to kind of clear out my inventory a little bit of stuff that we just, nope, apples, you stay there. Of stuff I just don't need to be carrying with me. Um, the apples are an exception because I think we can turn those into some really fun cider. All right, and I'm going to grab all of the fishing goods. And there we go. All right. The bait is even ready to be harvested from my little worm buckets. And we're going to go get a walleye. I am pretty sure we're going to go and get a walleye. I am pretty darn determined. Oh, look, I think there's blackberries on that bush. Whew. Walleye, walleye, walleye. Okay. So the walleye is going to be found in the river areas. So we're going to check on that. What's this quest? All right. No, no, the quest. Um, Salmon. Okay, Willie, I'm going to accept that just on the off chance that we end up catching some salmon too. I'm going to search inside of everybody's trash cans just on the off chance that they're going to have the walleye like at the last second. Nope, nothing there. And then there's another pile of blueberries. Oh, noodle doodle worms! And of course, the one time I leave my hoe back at home. I can't believe that. All right. I just want to do a proper search just to verify. Yep, nobody has the walleye. All right, and I'm good to go. No, I'm not good to go. I need to I need to eat my food. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to eat the lobster bisque first. All right, let's do this. There we go. I should have a boost. I have a boost. Look at that. I have plus three fishing. Yes, and it's going to last... It's going to last for a long time, actually, so I should be good. <sighs> okay. Now comes the uh, the point where you got to be a little patient. Okay, that's, that's green algae. But I've read the river and the forest lake, or the forest pond and the lake are the places where you can find a walleye. So we'll try this for a little while. Hey, Sam. And if I don't get any luck, then I think I'll go to the river inside of the forest. Oh, my. And we will try there. Because I'm really... I mean, I have to find it today, right? Oh, the randomness of what you could possibly run into. It's starting to get to me. Alright, is this going to be the walleye? Is it going to be that easy? It's a shad! Okay. It's a perfect record shad. That's kind of nice. But that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm getting nervous. Maybe I'm in the wrong river. We're going to go inside. Oh, my! The forest in just a second. Okay, if this isn't going to be... Oh, wait, what are you? You're fighting me a little bit. Are you a walleye? Is that what you are? And a tiger trout! New record! So we're getting record-sized fish. That's kind of exciting. Maybe because of the plus three fishing? Okay, but if this is not going to be a walleye, then I'm going to go and try the forest lake. Because I think the forest lake can give you the walleye fish. Pretty sure. It has to be raining. A smallmouth bass! Okay! Also gold star! Awesome, awesome! Except that's not what I'm looking for, so I'm getting nervous. So we're going to go and try the forest pond. I think the forest pond... Is this going to be the river? Like, is this the river everybody talks about when they talk about the river? Hmm. Let me see if I can get to a better spot to try fishing in the deep water. All right, Rosestone, scoot you over a little bit, my dear. You're putting on a bit more girth. It makes it a little tricky to get to some of the spots I need sometimes. All right, so that seems to be... Maybe this is a good spot. I'm getting nervous because it's 4 p.m. now. Okay, come on. Come on, Mr. Walleye. Ooh, okay! What are you? What are you, my friend? We've got ourselves a wiggler, you guys. Uh, uh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, 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 uh. And... What is that? It's a catfish. <laughs> Very exciting, but not the fish we're looking for. I'm getting nervous. When they say forest pond, do they mean like which pond? The pond that is next to the statue? Or do they mean the pond that's like the lake? Um, hmm. I know the river counts, and this counts as river. All right, this is exciting. Nice to see you, tiger trout. Nice to see you. Um, but that's not quite what I wanted. 
Okay, don't get nervous, Siri. It's only been a couple hours. And we'll try again. All right, come on, walleye. Come on. All right, now I'm getting nervous. Maybe I need to go try the lake. I mean, maybe I'm at the wrong river. Maybe it's not the forest river. Maybe it's the river over by, like, the Jojoa Mart. Okay, we're going to try a new spot. I should probably just look this up. I'm so nervous. Okay, come on. All right, we'll see what this fish is. And then I feel like I sh I'm Willie's best friend, more or less, now. I should have a guide. <gasps> Chub. Ah! He got my hopes up. Okay, I don't think I'm in the right spot. I think I need to be maybe over by the lake. Or maybe I need to be over by, like, the river. And when they say the river, they actually mean, like, the river in town. I'm gonna check. dun 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 We're going to the lake. So... I should be able to bump into the walleye and some other spots too, but everybody seems to have success at the lake, so we're headed straight to the lake. And come on, come on, Rose Stone, we've got to do this, we've got to do this. I don't want to miss out on being able to complete the community center because of a fish. I'm going to feel so silly, I'm going to feel so, so silly. All right, come on, Rose Stone, ride, ride like the wind. All right, let's do this, jump off Rose Stone. I've still got my little boost. Are there any any wiggly fish bubble spots? Fish bubble spots anywhere? No. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna fish right here. We're gonna try this again. Okay, already have a hit. Is that the one? Okay, it's. Oh, well. Isn't that really? Okay, hang in there, buddy. I'll be right back. I just want to see what that treasure is too, because fishing can also give you so many artifacts. Walleye, carp, treasure. Ooh, a geode. Well, that's better than nothing. All right, let's try again. Well, that was, that was promising, you know? We got a little bit of treasure. And if I just wait, come on. All right, my cork is doing pretty good. Come on. Come on, fish. I'm begging ya. Be, be a walleye. I really need this. Chub. All right, let's try again. I wonder if there's a better spot. I'm, I mean, I just watched a short little video and somebody did manage to catch a fish here. I feel like, you know, my farmer has been studying fishing manuals for ages and she's been interviewing Willie and she's been like watching YouTube videos. She's been doing everything she can to prepare for possibly catching a walleye. She put on her special boots, her lucky boots, ate her lucky food, got a bullhead, managed to get more, more bait. Come on. All right, come on, 7 p.m. Come on, rainy day. Come on, fish. Whoops, come on, be a walleye. Ah, am I not doing it right? Am I in the wrong spot? No, I just need to be patient. I, I know this is the right spot. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay, come on, and let's try again. Oh, there's lightning flashing down everywhere too. All right, come on, walleye. Come on. Is this gonna be it? A chub again? All right, maybe I need to do more research. I know, I mean, there's so many types of fish that I caught and some new records of different fish, but oh, dang it, I wasn't fast enough because I was so distracted. Okay, I'm just doubting myself too much. All right, rainy day. Come here. Come here, walleye. Dang it. All right, I'm going to look this up one more time. Okay, so it should be here. I'm just not having any luck at this particular spot. I'm going to scooch over because I know you're supposed to be... It doesn't matter where you stand over here, but I'm getting superstitious. I'm sure that there's like all sorts of little lucky emotions and superstitions that people have while they're fishing. So I'm going to come up here. Maybe if I stand right next to where the glittering boulder is eventually going to be removed, catching this walleye, it's almost symbolic. So it definitely has to happen. I know it's part of the night fishing bundle, so maybe it needs to be later in the evening? Okay, that's algae. Come on. Come on. Running low on my fishing boost. Running low on my, my cork. Come on. Maybe I should have the one where I get more rapid bites? Alright. Come on, walleye. Come on, walleye. I really need you to be a walleye. It's actually a walleye! It's actually the walleye! Oh my gosh! <gasps> okay! We got him! 
We got him. We got him. And it was symbolically caught right before the glittering boulder. Okay. I'm a little dizzy with excitement right at this very moment. Um, phew. Okay. And? Let's, we're going to catch this last fish. And then I'm going to take the walleye and give it to the little Juno. I am, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm dizzy with excitement. Okay, we've got him. We've got him, Rose Stone. This is enough. I can be content. Thank you, fish. Many, many, many fish who have leapt onto my line. You have made my life so wonderful. I totally forgot to even go and check with Marnie and see if we could get a pig. I, I am just so thrilled with this turn of events. I'm going to grab these berries just because I can. Look at all those adorable berries. And we're going to step inside. And we're going to do this. We're going to complete the very last bundle literally almost a whole real life year of my life in the making we're gonna do this this is awesome this is awesome it's just so exciting to complete huge goals like that and i got a small glow ring from it oh my goodness a whole year a whole special chapter of my stardew valley adventure Farewell, Siri. Oh, the ones come back to me. Oh, wow. Look at how cute they are. Bye. Oh my gosh, you guys are so adorable. I mean, just look at them. It's done. The whole community center is done. Everything has been taken care of. From what used to be a wreck, I, I gathered all the bits and pieces and put them together. And I managed to rebuild this place. I have like little tears in my eyes of excitement and happiness. Because this has been an amazing experience. It's not even everything that the game has to offer, but... I don't know, have you guys ever lived a life where you feel like your life is a wreck, like what the community center looked like when we started? Because I have felt like that a lot, a lot, a lot. So putting it back together like this, one step at a time, taking the huge monumental task that took me almost a huge one whole year of doing in real life, mostly because I recorded every step of the way with you guys, of course. Trust me, left on my own devices, I probably would have gotten there in like a week. I love Stardew Valley so much. Oh, and we need to leave so we can get home now, but, but taking those gigantic tasks and breaking them down so that I can get them done just like that and and sharing the adventures and challenging myself and researching to be able to achieve that goal it really does remind me just how amazingly beautiful the journey can be so often to get to those big goals and how the journey is really what changes your life more so than than the actual thing that you reach. I mean, look, we're very little has changed in our daily life at the moment for having completed that community center bundle, but the journey to get there, we did so many different kinds of things. We challenged ourselves in so many different ways. And it just reminds me so strongly of the same principle applied to my life. And and I think that's a really strong thing. So just remember that. All right, series little random, random rant PSA is now done. And there's so many things I need to clean up all over the place inside of these. Why are these even in here? Why is there so much wheat flour just sitting outside? I have so many things I need to clean and so many things I need to put away. So I'm just gonna grab those even though I need to go to bed like stat. Um, let's see. Grab this, grab this, grab this. So I have my tools back on me. Why do I have so many red cabbages just sprinkled everywhere and pine tar? I'm just such a goose. There's just so many things that need to be put away. So I'm gonna take all of these things inside, maybe manage to put them away before I pass out. Um, let me wiggle this way. Yeah, like look, very little has actually changed having done that, but it's not about that. It's about having gotten here. I like that a lot. That means a lot to me. All right, so let's see. That said, I'm gonna run over here 
And I'm going to throw in the algae. I'm going to throw in these peppers because I do believe that there is a hot pepper dish that Leia really likes. The goat cheese, of course. And then let's see, I've got the carrots and I've got some red cabbage. Oh yeah, and then the cave carrots also go in here. Let's see, red cabbage, apples, and the wheat flour. I'm pretty sure I was storing wheat flour in here. Yeah, now I have tons of wheat flour, wonderful. Wonderful, and now I'm gonna climb into bed and we are going to see you guys what happens when you complete the community center bundle, if anything changes overnight, if you get like a little alert, I have no idea. I've never seen anybody do it. I always sheared away from watching someone uh, if they got that far because I didn't want to see what would happen because I wanted to see for myself like what would change, what would happen. Um, and I'm going to put all of those, these little extra things away. And I'm going to need this. There we go. All right. I've got everything lined back up where it belongs. Like I said, pretty much nothing changed, and yet I get to reflect on how, how a lot did. Wow. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're like little enchanted apples, aren't they? All right, and we got a lot of money from fishing. That's not bad for just spending a little bit of time fishing. Nice. All right, well, I will see you guys tomorrow when we will see exactly what completing the community center bundle may have done for us, if anything in our life is going to change, and what new goals we can start focusing on. Because like I said, a huge part of life, I feel, is really about how you choose to follow the journey to your destination and not quite so much about how you get there. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.